Peter and the Wolf. Once upon a time, there was a little boy, and this little boy lived in a village with his mummy and his daddy, who worked as a shepherd. Do you know what a shepherd is? The shepherd is the man who looks after sheep. You know sheep. Bah. Yeah. Well, anyway, this little boy loved having fun. And all day long, he'd be running around and playing and jumping and singing. And he had a great life, didn't he? But one day, his daddy decided that this was enough and that his son had to start behaving like a grown up. And he said to his son, Son, today's the day you become a man. I'm going to take you to the fields, and like me, you're going to look after the sheep. And he did. He took the little boy, and they went up the hill, and down the hill, and over the road, and they got to the fields, and there were all the sheep eating grass and talking to each other. And then the son stayed with the sheep and the father left him and went back to the village. And the boy waited and looked after the sheep. But he didn't like it. He was very bored. There's nothing to do here, he said. I'm really bored. So he decided to talk to the sheep. But he couldn't speak sheep. He could only speak cow. He said, Murr. And the sheep said, bah! Murr! Bah! And they didn't understand each other. So the boy thought and thought, what can I do? I'm really bored. I know, I'll play a joke on everybody in the village. So he climbed a tree and from the top of the tree he shouted, the wolf is coming, the wolf is coming. And everybody from the village grabbed the first thing they could find. Somebody grabbed a stick and somebody grabbed a rock and they ran as quickly as they could to attack the wolf because they know that wolves like to eat sheep. And they ran and ran as quickly as they could. But when they got to the field, there wasn't any wolf. There was just the boy on the top of the tree laughing and laughing like, ah! <laughs> you silly fillies! And the people from the village were very angry because they don't like it when people lie to them. You don't like it, do you? No. So they said to the boy, you're being a very naughty boy, but we're going back to the village and you just stay there and look after the sheep. <laughs> and they went back to the village. So the next day, the boy went back to the field and he started looking after the sheep again. But of course, there was no one to play with and nowhere to run and he couldn't jump or sing and he got very bored. So he thought, I think I'll do what I did yesterday. <laughs> and he climbed the tree and he took in a lot of air and as loud as he could he shouted, the wolf is coming, the wolf is coming. And everybody grabbed their things and ran as quickly as they could back to the field to attack the wolf that wasn't there. And now they were really angry and they said, boy, you are a very silly boy. You can't be telling us there's a wolf when there is no wolf. That is very naughty. Do not tell lies. Hmm. Hmm. And they went back to the village and the boy laughed and laughed and ah, ha, 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 I played a joke and they're all silly. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, I'm so intelligent. But he wasn't really because the next day when he went back to the field before long, the wolf did come and he was a big wolf. And he had big ears and big teeth. And he came up very quietly. And before long, he was right behind the boy. And he went, Rah! and the boy, as quick as he could, climbed up the tree and shouted, help, help, the wolf is coming, the wolf is coming, the wolf is coming. But the people didn't come because now they knew that when the boy said the wolf is coming, 
it was just a joke. And all the sheep ran away. And the boy lost all the sheep. And even worse, when he came back down from the tree, the wolf bit him on the bottom. And he went back to his daddy crying. He said, Daddy, I told you the wolf was coming and you didn't come to help me. And all the sheep have run away and I have a sore bottle. And the daddy said, well, now you know that if you tell lies, people won't believe you. It's okay to play and have fun, but you have to be responsible as well. And you have to be responsible as well. <laughs>